What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with a lot of news, man. We got a lot of stuff to catch up on and I tried to get my WWE Royal Rumble 2023 vlog up today, but I'm running into a lot of issues with the footage that I got on my phone and trying to get that over into my editing software and just things of that nature. So that may be a delayed uh, another day or two. So I do apologize for that. But today, man, we have a ton of WWE action figure news from Ultimates to Elites to Sets to just a teaser of of the upcoming crowdfunder. I mean, we have so many things to discuss today, man, and I want to get into all of it with you, so let's buckle the hell up, shall we, and get into today's WWE action figure news for 2023. Lots to get through of, so buckle the hell up, leave a like on the video, comment down below what you're looking forward to, and let's get into it. So starting out first, man, let's get into the crowdfunder news, because I think that's something that a lot of us are excited for. It's, a, it's something that we're looking forward to, and it's not like a huge teaser, but I think it gives you kind of some insight here on what to expect from the next crowdfunder, and I'm actually quite excited about it. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. In the WWE action figure forums, if you guys are unaware, it's a figure forums where people can interact with the Mattel design team. You know, you can get on there, ask for advice, post customs, all kinds of different stuff. But somebody got on there and asked Action Figure Attack Steve from Mattel. They got on there and said, without giving anything away, can you tell us ballpark, quote unquote, what price point will we be looking at for the next crowdfunder? I need to have a little time to explain to my wife, laughing cry face emoji. So then Action Figure Attack did reply to this and it says, it's going to be more expensive than the last, but worth it in my opinion. So this, I mean, this straight up tells us the price point right here. I think the Mattel Creations WWE Elite or WWE Ultimate New Gen Arena was what? 250 bucks. So it says that it's going to be more expensive than the last, but worth it in my opinion. So it looks like we are looking at a $300 item more than likely, or at least 300 bucks, probably north of that. And it says that it's worth it in his opinion. I guess that will have to be remain to be seen. You know, what are we looking at here? I mean, last time we got an entrance stage, we had a full ring, we had three Ultimate Editions, and we had some great goods that came with those Ultimate Editions. I mean, you're talking about sick cloth goods. You're talking about an announce table with the monitors. You're talking about a ring and an operational stage entrance way with the operational curtain and the lighting fixtures. I mean, this is going to be some epic news right here, man. I can't wait to see what it is. Hopefully, we get it revealed to us at WrestleMania. That's what I'm guessing. WrestleMania Access, it'll be on display or it'll show off the new crowdfunder. At least, again, that's what I'm expecting. And I am probably, even if I don't go to WrestleMania, Brad, I'm probably going to fly the hell out there just to interview Steve, interview Bill, maybe walk around the display and get my own footage of said things. So we will have to see about that. But uh, the crowdfunder, it looks like it's going to be more expensive than the new gen arena. Hopefully, it will be worth it. I mean, I'm thinking real scale Elimination Chamber, real scale Hell in a Cell with a few Ultimates. Maybe the SmackDown Fist Day Ultimates with some, with some different stuff going on. I don't know what the hell they're planning. But I'm looking forward to it, and I can't wait to see what we get. That's not all the news we have, though, man. We have a lot more news to get into. Let's get into the next wave of Ultimate Editions. Now, if you guys were unaware, they did post up new shots of the Ultimate Edition Series 16. AJ Styles and Razor Ramon, just the other day, as my voice almost went out there, they posted up images of AJ Styles and Razor Ramon. You guys know that Razor Ramon is getting our first Chase Ultimate Edition in the red and black gear, and then you have the regular edition that's in the purple, I do believe, and then the most beautiful AJ Styles Ultimate of all time there in the white. I mean, that's the best AJ Styles figure they've ever made. Anybody's ever made. It is perfection. Look at it. It's beautiful. I just want to buy 76 of them. With the updated formula, it's a beautiful looking figure. But AJ Styles and Razor Ramon are Ultimate Edition 16. Ultimate Edition 15 was Brock Lesnar and Ultimate Warrior that's at retail right now. We have the Seth Rollins and Andre the Giant coming in Ultimate Edition Series 17. And apparently, this in information does come to us from Collector's Insider on Instagram. He says, I think he, he works in the retail space or he's got inside knowledge on the retail space. It says here that Ultimate Edition Series 18 is going to include, I'll give you guys the first figure and then the second figure. The first figure is going to be Macho Man Randy Savage. Yes, Macho Man Randy Savage, as you guys know, was a part of the last crowdfunder. He's had a Target exclusive in the Legends Wave, the Legends Ultimate Editions, and he's also had a main 
Ultimate Edition in the main line. So this would be our fourth Macho Man Randy Savage Ultimate Edition here in the WWE Ultimate Edition line coming in Ultimate Edition 18. Macho Man Randy Savage, lots of gears they can do, right? I mean, are they going to give him the updated tan like the Mega Powers 2-pack? Are they going to just continue on with what they've been doing to keep it, you know, relevant across the board? I don't know. However, Macho Man Randy Savage could be getting his next Ultimate here in Ultimate Edition 18. Kind of keeping the theme of one legend and one sort of current talent or, you know, I mean, both of these guys are legends to be honest with you. But we have the legend killer, Randy Orton apparently, is in Ultimate Edition Series 18 alongside Macho Man Randy Savage. Now, the first thing you're going to think of when you think of a Randy Orton Ultimate Edition is... Is it going to be a flashback Randy Orton with none of his tattoos or just the tribal tats? Or is it going to be full sleeve shoulder tattoo Randy Orton with all of his tattoo work with the black hand tape and the updated head sculpt? I think there there's a lot of stuff you could look at right there. I'm worried about them making a, you know, I, I feel like people will say, oh, it's probably going to be a two-in-one, but I don't know if that could work, you know? I, I don't know if that could work because he has the shoulder tattoos that go all the way up onto his pecs almost. They're like right there on the edge. I don't know how you could do that if you did the interchangeable arm gimmick. Maybe if you did interchangeable butterfly joints, you might could work that in there, but I think they're going to go with one or the other. I highly doubt they're going to be putting a two-in-one figure in there. If they were to do that, I'd be interested to see how it looks because I feel like it'll look awful if you just put the tattooed arms and the blank arms and then you interchange those because he also has like rib tattoos and stuff like that. I mean, there's different things there. I guess it doesn't have to be. It could be before he got the rib tattoo. I was thinking maybe like WrestleMania 31 where he took on Seth Rollins and he hit him with the RKO out of the curb stomp. That's the first gear that came to mind for me for Randy Orton and his Ultimate Edition. I guess it could be like a Backlash 04 or something like that. Maybe a 2-in-1 there because they're both red gears, but I don't know, man. That kind of gets wishy-washy for me. I don't know if I, I'm all in on that, but Randy Orton and Macho Man Randy Savage coming in Ultimate Edition 18. I still think it's an epic wave, and I'm looking forward to seeing what these figures look like. I think that should be excellent. We also have some news on the upcoming next Top Picks wave coming for the second half of 2023, and this one actually shocked me a little bit. Well, at least one of them did, but... Getting into the next top picks wave for 2023 is going to be Rey Mysterio, who is no stranger to the top picks wave. We've seen him multiple times now, right? We got him in the black and yellow gear not too long ago. Then we had him in the Batman gear. I mean, Rey Mysterio has had so many damn figures over the last 2022, 2021 that it doesn't shock me whenever they throw him out there. They could release a 10-pack of Elite Rey Mysterios, and it would not shock me, Brad. Rey Mysterio is a part of the top picks next wave. You know, I, I his actually, we have three different top picks. I forgot about that. We had the freaking Macho Man gear. So they, this will be our fourth top picks Rey Mysterio that I forgot about right there. But not only do we have Rey Mysterio in this wave, guys, we also have Matt Riddle. Yes, Matt Riddle coming into the top picks wave for this year. We've had three elite Matt Riddles already. We had the white and gold gear. We had the orange and black gear. And then we did most recently in the Elite Series 99, we did have the black, gold, and red gear for Matt Riddle. So I actually like that figure a lot. I like Matt Riddle. I like his figures. I think they're unique. We typically get a cool shirt. We get a hat. We get a scooter. I mean, you get a lot of stuff going on with Matt Riddle, including the slide. So he's one of those guys that they actually throw a lot of accessories in with, and I'm always aboard all the accessories. So Matt Riddle is going to be coming in the top picks wave. It's all going to depend on the gear, right? It's all going to depend on what gear they go. I hope they go with like one of his rainbow gears or one of his like pink fluorescent gears or something like that. I'd like to see a colorful gear. That's all I really ask out of Matt Riddle. But the third and final member of our top picks way for this year, you already guessed it, Brad, it's going to be Cody Rhodes. Yes, Cody Rhodes is coming to the top picks wave. I think that this is going to be an ongoing thing. I bet we get Cody Rhodes in the next three or four top picks waves. You know, I could see him going along John Cena, your Rey Mysterios, your Roman Reigns. Lots of Cody's to be made in 2023. I imagine we will get quite a bit of Cody Rhodes in 23, and I don't have any issues with it. I love Cody. I love his figures. I'm all aboard the Cody train. Load me up like they loaded us up with the AEW Cody Rhodes figures, but Cody Rhodes is coming in the top picks wave for this year. So Rey Mysterio, Matt Riddle, and Cody Rhodes round out our top picks wave for the second half of this year. Moving right along, man, we have Survivor Series Elites. We have Survivor Series Elites for this year. Now, the only figure in this set that kind of baffles me is going to be the Build-A-Figure, which we'll get into. You guys know that they like to throw these Build-A-Figures into these pay-per-view exclusive WWE Elite Waves. So the first figure in this set that I'm excited for, man, I hope that it is what I think it is, is going to be Shawn Michaels, HBK. 
K coming in the Survivor Series Elite Wave. Hope to God it's 2002 Survivor Series in the Elimination Chamber. Give us the big gold championship. Give us that boy wonder short haircut, that mom Karen haircut. Give us the unfinished brown tights. Give us the cowboy boots. Give it to me, Brad. That's what I want to see right there with the chest hair. I, I, of course, they're not going to give us a bloody head sculpt. That'll be up to us to do. But I want to see our Survivor Series 2002 unfinished trunks brown World Heavyweight Championship Shawn Michaels. That is the only thing I want to see out of this wave. And apparently that's what's coming. So I hope, uh, of course, it could be like a Survivor Series 96. It could be a Survivor Series 94, something like that. But I'm hoping to God it's 2002. That's what I want to see here. And that's the first figure in the wave. The next figure in the wave is going to be Charlotte. Now, not the most exciting. You guys know that she was in Elite Series 92. Not a bad looking figure at all. But I imagine it's probably going to be what, like Survivor Series 2018 where she took on Ronda Rousey. Probably something like that. Maybe like a crop top SmackDown shirt or something like that. They're going to get reused. You guys know that usually in these in these Royal Rumble or Survivor Series or SummerSlam waves, they usually repaint all the figures and then one figure will have some new deco or a new sculpt or a new head sculpt or something like that. So... I'm not expecting a ton out of this Charlotte figure. I just hope it has a good head sculpt. I hope that it crosses all the T's, dots, all the I's, and it gets the job done for Charlotte. I don't think anybody was really hammering for a Charlotte, but, you know, we'll take what we can get here. Next up is another one that's kind of baffling. It's going to be Jerry the King Lawler here in the Survivor Series wave. Now, I thought it could be like 94 Survivor Series, but it looks like the Elite 82 Jerry Lawler. Like, that's kind of what that would remind me of. I don't know how much different it would be than that. And so you're looking at that, and may, I mean, I guess they could give him double jointed arms. And I know it was Elite 82 when we saw that Jerry the King Lawler, but that feels like we just got that figure not too long ago. I guess it technically is like 20 series ago. I mean, we're up to Elite 101 that was Elite 82. But I don't know, man. I, I thought that was kind of a weird one as well, but... You guys can leave me your thoughts down below. Is it going to be any different than his Elite 82? Would it be worth the grab? I don't know, but we'll have to wait and see what the figure actually looks like. But rounding out our Survivor Series Elite Wave is going to be my boy Kevin Owens. KO getting an Elite. We just got his Elite 101 figure, and we had his Elite 91 figure, and now we're getting a Survivor Series Elite. Now, it has to be the red shirt. You guys know that an Elite 101, we thought it was going to be the red shirt KO that he wore there for a while, but they did end up going with the Stone Cold Kevin Owens look from last year's WrestleMania and the build to that, and they threw in his WrestleMania gear. So, throwing in his Survivor Series gear where he walked out on his team. I could absolutely see that being the red shirt. I, I don't think it could be anything else. Maybe one of his prize fighter gears back in the day, but I don't know. I feel like to keep it current, to keep it kind of updated, they're going to have to go with the Survivor Series where he walked out on his team with the red shirt. That's what I would guess it would be. And you guys know that we just recently got a KO. So it's going to be very similar to that KO, I bet, just with a different shirt, which I'm all for. I thought it would be Elite 101, but it is going to be probably here in the Survivor Series Elites in his red gear. Now, as far as the build of figure is concerned, apparently it's going to be British Bulldog. Now, you guys know that in the Elite 94 Collector's Edition, we got a British Bulldog. We got a British Bulldog in Elite Series 82, and we saw a British Bulldog Elite not too long ago in the or it was a long time ago like we got the elite 94 collector's edition not too long ago the elite 82 and then we also had the elite 39 back in the day so i don't know what this could be like are they going to give us a jean build a figure british bulldog like i don't i don't know if that would be the case usually they give us a suited figure is this going to be some sort of suited british bulldog i i, I have no idea you know I, I, we'll have to see about that and see what comes of it but that is what we have right now on paper at least that's what i've been seeing here so British Bulldog being the Build-A-Figure should be very unique. Regardless of the fact, I am very hyped. I think it probably will be a Jeans British Bulldog. That's like the only elite version we don't have. But that remains to be seen. We did see that in the Championship Showdown pack. Now, getting into WWE Legends 19. This is something that released on the day I was headed to San Antonio for the Royal Rumble. And I was unable to cover it. But we have WWE Legends Elite Series 19, man. Starting out with The Undertaker. Very badass looking taker right here. I like the sculpt on the chest. I think it should be great. I know it's just a render image, but it's kind of like, I don't know, I love this like demon cowboy 
style deal that he's got going on here with like the sleeveless vest or long duster there. I know he's got the teardrop. It's just, I, I mean, I guess that's what the Undertaker is, right? I mean, he's like a dead demon cowboy size type character. I mean, that's what he does, but I like the look of this figure. Uh, it's all going to depend on what the head sculpt looks like. You know, it's pretty plain, but at the same time, I'm actually looking forward to it a lot, but I think there's better figures in this wave, and that start off with Brother Love, man. A Brother Love Elite coming with the ring fingers, like with his hands stretched out wide. I mean, what a beautiful looking figure right here with Brother Love. After all this time, we have a Bruce Pritchard WWE Elite action figure, man. We have been waiting on this one. I think it should be great. I'm actually excited because we actually can put, you know, a white suit, you know, pop the head off. You could put multiple guys in a suit. I'm probably going to put my set. Hopefully, it's not, it's probably going to be a heavier build, to be honest with you. However, maybe I can use the legs, the arms. Maybe there's something I can use here to put myself in a white suit. You guys know I love white suits, but... This should be great. I love this figure. This is somebody that we have been waiting on forever, and I'm glad that they plugged him in the Legends line. Give a little rebirth life into the Legends line there with not so many re-releases, even though the next two technically are re-releases. And that is going to be D'Lo Brown, who is in the Nation of Domination gear, and then the Chase is in this like Sub-Zero style gear in the blue and black. So I know a lot of people are going to want that Nation of Domination to complete their Nation of Domination with the Mark Henry and the Farouk. And then we also have comma coming in his same getup so we're finally getting another comma in the line there excellent wave right here i'm actually really excited for this wave i think that a lot of people are going to be excited about this wave legend series 19 should be hitting uh i don't know when it's going to be hitting all right leave me alone we still don't have our poly dangerously wave but i would imagine by the summer these figures should be hitting and it should be great. I'm really excited for the Brother Love probably most of all just because I want that white suited body. You guys know how I love backstage gears and street attires and, you know, different suited figures. So that is probably the one that I'm most looking forward to. But I'm super hyped for the D-Lo, super hyped for the Kama and the Undertaker. I think all of those are great. But WWE Elite Legends 19 is a banger. I'm actually excited for the full wave. Hopefully, well, I guess, I, I mean, I, I hate to say hopefully they don't cut them on clearance, but hopefully I get them for clearance. I just want them to continue doing Legends waves, so that's why I say hopefully these don't go straight to clearance. But with the last one, I mean, they literally hit the pegs and they immediately marked them 50% off. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see about that and all that those things. But moving right along, man, getting into WWE Championship Showdown Series number 13. And this news comes to us from Epic Figs. It looks like we're going to be getting Undertaker versus Batista. We have Kofi Kingston versus Xavier Woods. And then we also have Ricochet versus Gunther. And I'm hoping we get a new head sculpt for Gunther or Gunther or, or Walter. I call him Walter, but you guys get the point. Hopefully we get a new head sculpt or something like that. I imagine Ricochet's probably going to have the same head sculpt as his Elite 101. Kofi and Xavier are probably their recent Elites. Undertaker Batista going to be throwback, probably late Ruthless Aggression era. Could definitely see that taking place. And then the last bit of news we have is going to be Basic Series 139, which I think we already knew was coming. We, we've already seen a couple of these figures. We do have John Cena, Liv Morgan, Matt Riddle, Pat McAfee, which we already saw. It's like the regular version and the chase. And then Hulk Hogan. So we're getting Hulk Hogan. Pretty packed wave right here between John Cena and Hulk Hogan, and then you have Pat McAfee thrown in there. Liv Morgan's a great women's talent. This should actually be a damn good basic wave right here, depending on what gears they go with, what looks they go with. I'll definitely be grabbing Pat McAfee, and then the rest will just depend on head sculpts, attires, things of that nature. Maybe the Liv Morgan will be badass. We'll have to see about that. But that is all of the news, man. Lot, I told you, it was a lot of stuff. We, I mean, we literally discussed so much here. Next crowdfunder info, Ultimate Edition 18. We had Top Picks Wave coming soon. The Survivor Series Elites with the Build-A-Figure. WWE Elite Legends 19. Championship Showdown 13. And then Basic Series 139. All of this stuff is probably going to be on display in render form or announced here in the next couple months as we approach WrestleMania. At least that's what I would guess. You know, I'm just putting my best foot forward out there. A huge shout-out to Collectors Insider on Instagram for the information. He seems pretty confident, man. I don't think that uh, these things are fake. You know these lineups are always subject to change, but I think a lot of these are going to be pretty spot on and on the money, man. So Leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below, man. What do you feel about all these? I would love to know down below. Let me know your thoughts on all these as we get out of here, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.